His name is Jim Harbaugh. Nice enough to spend time with us today. Join us live. First of all, Jim, how are you? Thank you for doing this. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, incredible. Uh, doing great, Colin. And uh, I just can't tell you, I mean, how excited I'm being on the show. It's a, it's a chance for redemption. <laughs> Jim, you and I are good. We're going to be good for the rest of our life. We're good, brother. You know I love you. You're good with me. You leave me little notes at Fox. We're going to be good. No problem. Uh, the the infamous 2015 interview. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I was a clunker, and uh, I I've been, I've been dreaming about this day. I've been <laughs> dreaming about this day, picturing it, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to bring it for you today. Colin. Okay, we're gonna manifest. We're manifesting it because I thought about it too. I told you how bad I felt about that. I told you I, it was my fault. I stunk. I didn't no, do it. Was more, it was my... Okay, so I want to start with this. Before you took the job. How much did you know? We know Justin Herbert's great, but how, how much did yeah. you know about Justin Herbert? Well, I mean, how could you not know about? Him? I mean, uh, watching him on TV and and uh, and watching tape. I mean, he's uh, he's an incredible player, and uh, yeah, knew a lot about him. Top top, as good as is it as good as they get in the uh, in the National Football League, and uh, he's a crown jewel. I mean, the, uh, in in every way. Uh, you know, he's, he's got it. He's tough. He's got the, the arm talent and uh, the leadership and, you know, just games he's played. I mean, just, just marveled, you know, watch tell my young, young son, Jack. I mean, uh, let's, let's, let's just watch this guy and enjoy. Your teams get tough and physical immediately. I watched the Stanford team walk into the Coliseum as a 40 point dog and start getting right in USC's face. I saw it with four of your top 10 defenses in San Francisco. Again, your teams get good and they all get physical very fast. Can you explain what is the messaging? How, if it's easy, everybody does it. What do you do to instill that in all your teams quickly? Well, uh, um, nothing fancy, you know, just, um, Good old fashioned hard work. Good old fashioned teamwork. Um, you know, guys, guys get are good at football. You know, if they if the player that knows what to do, how to do it, where to align, um, you know, plays the technique properly, uh, and then you combine that with being a superior athlete, and then you know, then you really have it. So um, you know, we can all we can all control. Uh, you know, being being the kind of player that knows what to do and how to do it and when to do it and then train, you know, just good old fashioned hard work, training yeah. yourself to be, you know, a, a good athlete, a better athlete, a superior athlete. Now, Jim, you've been out of the NFL for nine years. The The league has changed yeah. some rules. It's much more of an offensive league now. You can't do as much grabbing. And, so are, are, are you... Or is there any concern that you're like, wow, it's football, but I've been out of this space for nine years. Any concerns at all about that? Do you feel like you have to catch up on anything? Yes, I do. That's a, that's a really good question. Um, and there's, there's things I got to, that I do have to catch up on. Um, you know, it's, it's still, I still know this, that you have to win. It, that hasn't changed. I'm, right. Uh, I'm darn sure of that. Um, the uh, the analytics piece, the reports, the uh, you know the study, the um, you know I think that's that's grown. I mean, it can, even even 10, 10, 15 years ago, you know, coaches sitting around watching the tape, putting in the game plan. Uh, you know, it's it's been aided so much by uh, by uh, reports, analytics of what coaches should watch and, and and the important things to watch. And I'm not talking about you know, when to go for it or go for two or go for it on fourth down, uh, you know, really the, the, um, the, uh, the tendencies, yeah. uh, you know, that, you know, all, all play callers have in, in their DNA, but, uh, you know, to really be able to, to hone in on it. I mean, think of it like the human brain. Yeah. And I think of, you know, what the computer can do. Uh, and then there's stuff about AI that I have, that the human brain can't even go to, right. uh, not, not even, not even there yet. But I bet you know. But it's not for a few more years that uh, you know the AI is in football as well. So I, I am generally not a fan of the coach having GM personnel power, but there are exceptions. I thought when Jimmy Johnson came out of college, 
He knew the guys he recruited. Give him personnel, say. I have strongly said, give Harbaugh, especially the first four years, give Jim personnel, say. Um, is, is it possible? I mean, because you recruited many of these first and second, third round guys. You probably recruited a lot of them. How much of the personnel, you obviously are going to have a GM, but how much do you want to be in it saying, I want that defensive tackle? I, I recruited him. I want this edge. How much say do you want? Teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, <laughs> good old fashioned hard work and teamwork. Uh, I and mean, that's, that's what it's all about. And, um, you know, Joe Ortiz is here. He just got in the other night and, uh, you know, we're always, we, we go back and, uh, we've always had a, a great relationship. That's his, that's what he's the expert at. And, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be there to aid him. I'm, uh, aspire to watch, you know, uh, as much tape as my brother does, uh, you know, as much tape or more than any any coach uh, in the NFL watches on the on the college players and the, and the free agents. Uh, but I mean, that's you know, I'm going to be uh, Robin to his Batman. That's uh, that's that's his where he's the expert, and that's and that's that's the kind of uh, um, coaching staff. That's the kind of uh, you know uh, organization we want to build. Is you know an expert at in their field doing their job. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're there to support in that area, but yeah, I've been just, my dad, just the way I grew up was, I mean, that person, he or she is the expert in that area. Um, and if I do what they tell me to do, how they tell me to do it, then I will be successful. Uh, you know, that's, that's what I want for, uh, uh, our coaching staff, everybody, in the organization and ultimately our players, right? I mean, the, the, the players that have a position coach, you know, that get, getting that expert in that position so that uh, you take, take the thinking out of it and uh, you know, just uh, listen to the instruction, you know, embrace the instruction and then go execute the instruction. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's anybody better. And, and my brother, my brother, John would tell you, I mean, Joe Ortiz is yeah. it's one of the absolute best. So uh, no, I want to, I want to, I want to coach the team. Um, and you know, when it comes to, uh, the other decisions, we'll support, we'll support the expert in that area yep. and, uh, and do it as a team. You know, it's interesting. Um, I see you as such a Midwest authentic guy, and yet you come out West, you crushed at San Diego, you crushed with the Niners, you crushed with Stanford. And it's because I really look at you and your brother and your dad, you're kind of this Midwest family. And was there part of yeah. you that said to yourself, listen, I made a lot of money. Michigan's home. Do I, you know, I, West coast is all glitzy. I don't know if I'm an LA guy. Did you have any doubt about coming back to the NFL in Los Angeles? Uh, no, not, I mean, it's, it's, to me, it's, you know, faith, family, football, the challenge, uh, you know, take a, take another crack at, uh, you know, winning the, uh, uh, the Lombardi being known as simply uh, world champions. And then the family, I mean, I was uh, the Spanos family. It's, it's, it's all about that. If, you know, coach some of the nephews and, uh, you know, go back uh, with John Spanos, you know, many years and Dean Spanos played for the, I played for the Chargers. Yep. Uh, and I'm a Midwest guy, but then half of me is a is a is a California guy as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, graduated high school from Pali High in Palo Alto, California. Uh, my first coaching job was with the with the Raiders when they were in Oakland. Then I went to USD. That was my first head coaching job. Then Stanford. Then the 49ers. Uh, my only coaching job uh, outside in my is is Michigan. And uh, you know now back here, there's there's a there's definitely an emotional, uh, you know, connection, not only to the team, but to the state and to, uh, as, as Ronald Reagan said, uh, and let me see if I can get this one right. Okay. Uh, if I remember it, you know, uh, California isn't a place. It's a way of life. Wow. That was very good. You pulled that one out. That was a good one. I like that. Hey, one, one final question. And I do know about LA, LA, LA. I mean, <laughs> if I, Correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, and you know, they, they, uh, respect talent and yes. effort yes. and winning. Yeah. You know, they'd like and, you to win. And, There's uh, a lot to do here in LA. You got to win or they forget about you real fast in LA. Finally, I got to ask you one Michigan question. You don't need a quarterback. 
So I can ask you about J.J. McCarthy as a kid. How do you think he'll do? What, what does he bring to the table that maybe I can't see as a TV viewer? Uh, arm talent, athleticism, it factor, uh, winning with numbing repetition. Uh, don't be surprised when he, if, when he goes to, uh, he's the number one quarterback off the board. That's, that's my prediction right now. Uh, when people get a load of, of uh, JJ and what he, you know, how he can throw the ball, how he spins it, his athleticism, uh, his intelligence, uh, you know, talk about it factor, you know, he's got it, the competitiveness that he has and, uh, and they get around him and they really start digging in and they start talking to him. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's an early prediction for the 2024 NFL draft. You are, man, you are chomping at the bit. You're so you're right. Right now you're just watching all these charger games. Is that what you're doing right now? Going back and watching every play. Is that your life right now? Yeah. yeah yep. Um, trying to hire, uh, not trying, but you know, really focused on, um, hiring the staff, you know, getting our, getting our staff of coaches hired in place, uh, you know, talking to multiple, multiple people, yeah. um, you know, kind of put together an all-star staff with, what I think our players uh, deserve, yeah, and um, you know, especially especially the quarterback, you know, uh, you know, motivates me every day. Getting up in the morning, I'm like, you know, I got to bring it. You know, this is gonna have to be gonna have to be, you know, a plus game because uh, because he's so good. Um, and and it, there's so many pros pros that are on this team. Um, you know, getting the right getting the right coaching staff together, the best we can get. Um, you know, top five t- kind of guys in the profession, uh, what we're, we're, what we're going after. And, uh, yeah, and then it's going to be, uh, you know, addressing what we need to address and that's, uh, you know, you know getting good, getting good at football. So, uh, uh, in the process every day is, uh, so much fulfillment right now because, uh, it's things are getting, things are getting done. We're working at it. Hi everybody. It's me, uncle Colin subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.